Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created to the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's hey! a figment of your imagination. Randy Roach. Turn up your mind. For a state already smashing COVID records, Florida soared into a new stratosphere Sunday. 15,300 cases. That's a lot of new cases? Wow. That's a lot. Of that number? I, it's a little bit ridiculous. Physicians sounding the alarm. People are dying. They're not just getting sick. They're dying. Our loved ones are dying. And you should care about those people that you're interacting with. Florida's fatalities this week, over 500. In Miami-Dade, hospitals are at 94% ICU capacity, with the mayor confirming six are now full. It's our ICU capacity that's uh, causing us concern. Mm. But again, like I said, we can crank up another 500. If the Sunshine State were its own country, it would rank fourth highest in the world for new COVID cases. Oh my God. Behind the United States, <laughs> Brazil, and India. Despite the explosion of infections, many rules remain unchanged. Masks are not required statewide, and Florida's beaches and businesses remain open. As you can see, they are doing temperature screenings as soon as you load off the boat dock. Even Disney World, back this weekend, oh the Evans God. family from California says oh. conditions are not what you might expect. The capacity is very, very reduced. I mean, you can walk anywhere in the park and not bump into anybody. Signs of social distancing and cautious behavior, key to keeping this already spiraling crisis from deepening. Florida is literally competing with the United States as if we are a third world country and uh, the United States is an emerging country. Wow, everybody. Wow. Hi, happy Monday to you. The news uh, so far is not great. I just saw that guy in that report, and he had his mask on below his nose. Could you please? Uh, don't make me go on mask patrol. Don't make me go on mask patrol. I will go on mask patrol. I will patrol you is what I will do. Do not wear it below the nose. This is like this is like wearing your bathing suit below your, uh, you know, and leaving your junk out. Don't do it. Nobody wants to see that. Don't do it. It's not safe. It's right. Mask up. Yes, everybody. Just mask up. Put the mask on and over the nose. Cover the nose. Like COVID doesn't go in the nose. Of course it goes. It comes out the nose. It goes in the nose. This is wrong. We're doing it wrong. It's Florida. And one can only hope that oxycodone does something to alleviate the COVID. One has to just pray and hope that bath salts or methamphetamine does something to assuage. Yes, I said assuage. Assuage the COVID. This is just so unbelievable. And so we passed this record for daily cases in Florida. We passed it. New York had a daily case high of about 12,000. We hit 15,000 plus this weekend. So now, Florida, what are you going to do? You just beat the world record for COVID cases. Hey, let's reopen Disney World. And host a Republican convention. Oh, my God. Oh, my. You know what? We should force the Republicans to do it in Jacksonville. We should force them. We should take them by force and make them. Make them go to Jacksonville. Holy crap. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say to you anymore. I honestly don't. You're wearing your masks wrong. People aren't taking this seriously. Karens are everywhere. They are freaking everywhere. And they want to throw God's wonderful breathing system out the door. If we have a second wave, I feel it will be due to masking healthy citizens. I will not tolerate putting a muzzle on my mouth to keep me from speaking to people, to keep me from, from them seeing my smile. It literally is killing people. And my, the people, we the people, are waking up. And we know what citizen's arrest is. Because citizen's arrests are already happening, okay? And every single one of you that are obeying the devil's laws are going to be arrested. How will young children be able to know who the dangerous deviants are, like pedophiles and people in the human sex Please. trafficking? I don't wear a mask for the same reason I don't un wear underwear. Things gotta breathe. I'm also the daughter of somebody who lived through Germany. You're forcing people to wear masks 
They were forced to wear a star. I'm oh not my wearing God. it. You're going to have to hold me down and put it on me. And I say Trump 2020, and I hope every one of you gets voted out who votes for a mask. Oh, oh no. Cut the crap. Everybody, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. We're setting records for COVID, and I promise you the numbers will change. It's going to get worse. We haven't seen the death yet, okay? We're just adding the cases now. There's a leg. It legs. In two weeks, we're going to have death. Death like you never saw. And, and by the way, and by the way, I have to say, this whole thing about not wearing a TMI, TMI, I don't need to know what Chucky's doing, okay? I don't want to know. Just like I don't want to see your nose. I don't want to see anybody's nose till after this pandemic is over. I don't want to see your nose. I don't want to see your lips. Oh, my God. And, and, and so what is Trump doing in response? What is Trump doing? What's DeSantis doing in response? What's he doing? You know what he's doing? He's quarantining himself and he's eating. I could tell you that because he's fat. He's fatter than he ever was. He gained so much freaking weight. And that comes from quarantine. It comes from boredom. And that is why he is so fat. Oh, my God. So he's quarantining himself. He's over there. And we're supposed to go uh, to Disney I mean, they literally reopened Disney World this week, and they opened, Di now they say they're taking precaution, and they want us to open the schools, and he's mandating that schools get open. You can't be a wash, can't be a wash in COVID-19, in coronavirus, and send your kids to school, okay? We talked about that. We talked about how it's different from Home Depot. Kids move in packs. They go from science class to English class to art class to the orchestra. You don't do that. You don't go from the gardening section in Home Depot to the electrical section 45 at a time. That doesn't happen. And then 45 minutes later, you go 45 at a time to the plumbing section. That doesn't happen. What are we going to drive through school? And Betsy DeVos, for 22 minutes, Dana Bash interviewed Betsy DeVos. Why? Why? Why did she interview her? This is such a waste of human capital. Dana Bash is a smart girl, okay? And to sit there and to talk to a brick wall like Betsy DeVos, who is interested in one thing and one thing only, and that is depriving federal dollars to public schools. And you know, 90% of public schools are funded by local property taxes and uh, state and local, right? And so the 10% that the federal government supplies is all she's talking about. Why does she want to uh, 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 sit there and say, we needed to fund the, if you know that there's more that needs to be done to make schools safe, if you know that they need to uh, do things like find more space so that they can social distance, spread the kids out, if you know that you need to do more uh, by uh, putting PPE uh, on the teachers, okay, or if, why would you want to defund the schools of one single red penny now? in the middle of a pandemic. Why would you, A, want to open up the schools and B, want to defund them? You know why? No, because she wants vouchers. She wants to take that federal money and she wants to put it into a voucher that parents will get so that they can then shop around to go to one of her charter schools, her private. She has been looking to defund public education forever, since uh, since before the pyramid schemes, since before the Amway, okay? Well, maybe not, because she's old, but not that old. It is the sickest thing. She sat there and sat there, and I tell you, Dana Bash pushed her and pushed her and could not get her to lay out the plan. We do know that uh, children can spread the virus. There was a summer camp in Missouri which closed after 82 campers and staff tested positive. I Texas told you. says more than 1,300 children and employees in a child care facility tested positive. Uh, and here's what the CDC guidelines say if children meet in groups, it can put everyone at risk. Children can pass this virus onto others who have an increased risk of severe illness from COVID 19. That's your own federal government's and we, and guidelines. And we also know that. We also know that the YMCA's that provide child care for frontline workers across the country have been studying this very carefully and uh, that there has not been high incidence of, of, of viral spread in those situations. So it, it really is a matter of paying attention to good hygiene. You know, following the guidelines around uh, making sure we're washing hands, uh, wearing masks when appropriate. OK, she has no plan. She said this over and over and over. Somebody clocked her. Somebody clocked her 22 minutes of saying locals can handle it. Locals can make the decisions. Locals can do it. And by the way, if they don't do it, we're going to defund them. There is no authority in the executive branch 
to do that. RandyRhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.